Hi everyone. Yes, I'm actually talking this time in this video. I am so sorry for being absent last week, but now I am back and I decided to do something a little bit different. I wanted to basically show you a couple of techniques that I use in my watercolor paintings. Yes, this is a watercolor one this time. I would, if I do gouache, it'll probably be a different time. But in any case, I'm just gonna show techniques I use in my paintings. These two I use the most common, this one I'm just learning how to use it, but it's going to happen one of these days, you'll see it in a video. So, so, so if you have your paints with you, you can do it with me. See now, the stuff I'm using right now, I'm using right now, <laughs> I have two brushes with me, the number, number zero pulling up right and the number two pulling up right. I haven't gotten the new ones yet, I probably should have a water brush by Arteza. I got it when I got, <laughs> I'll use those paints later on. And the paints I'll be using is, is prong watercolor. So I'm not gonna use every single color in the palette because this is not what we're doing here. <laughs> so let's begin with the first technique that I want to use really often. Let me get my brush nice and wet. The wet on wet, well, the wet on wet is pretty self-explanatory. You're basically getting clean water laying laying your water down first and make sure it's an even sheen of water you don't want any pooling whatsoever you get pooling you'll have the cauliflower effect or as it's so affectionately called back runs we no back runs out here <laughs> okay all right i think that's fine for what we're doing let me get some color got a lime green here. See this lime green I actually mixed in earlier. I was trying to paint an avocado but it was unsuccessful I'm afraid. <laughs> and so the wet on wet is the perfect technique to use if you have extremely large amount of space and space but you don't want to waste time trying to get everything down one brush stroke at a time. So wet on wet is perfect for something like that. I mean, I don't use it as often as I should, but in this case, it would be perfect for that. Now let me clean my brush off. The next, next technique, this is the one I actually use the most often, wet on dry. <clears throat> See, the paint is dry right now, and I'm about to add some paint on it. So as you see, you get different effects with the wet on wet. It's a little more dreamy, a little more hazy. With the wet on dry, you it's more what you see is what you get. You get the color down and then you let it dry till you do something else with it. <laughs> see, wet on dry, I use this most often when I'm doing like smaller areas, like small washes. If you've seen my moon time lapse, I use wet on dry mostly on that one. <laughs> But yeah, if you're trying to do something really quickly, it'll dry quickly, then you use wet on dry. And now here is the one that I'm trying to use more often. See, I got my water brush here. Get some pigment here and just drop. Oh, I didn't get any pigment there, hold on. There we go. <laughs> what you're basically doing is, if you have a water, water brush or a dripper or a pipe bed or what have you, and you just place the pigment with the droplet down. See, I see this technique more often used in the Hutachan. Like, check out their channel, by the way, they're great. <laughs> and I see this primarily used when they want to lay down, so it's me down really quickly and add a really interesting effect, or they're trying to put down base color. <laughs> I may use it in a future painting, who knows? Mm -hmm.
See, I'm only using a water brush here. Okay, let me get a little closer so you see what I'm doing. Okay, got it here. Put it down the paper and I just squeeze slightly. Like, yep, pick up pigment. Here it is. And squeeze. Okay, one more just for good measure. <laughs> Need a little pigment there, hold up. All right, put that down. And so, all you have to do next is just look up, paint it down. And you just even this out a little bit. As mentioned earlier, this is just used to get some base color down. As you see, it's very pale compared to the wet on dry. <laughs> and let's see if I can move some of this down. All right, all right then. And there you have it. The, the, as I mentioned, two techniques I use my watercolor paintings and one that I am still learning how to do, but I'll definitely do more in the future because I need practice with it. I appreciate y'all staying with me for this minute and and I'll see you next time. I promise I'll be back next week. Catch you later. Bye-bye.